ਕਰਦੇ ਆ so like does so much for me it's like i'm real happy it is it trains me like doesn't charge me for training um he's given me equipment clothes like training gear like he's always there like to support me if i've had like if i don't feel training's gone great he'll be there like he'll put you down when you get when you think it's not or when you think you've done really well and you haven't he's always there to bring you back crashing back down the biggest challenge for any female stepping into a, a predominantly male orientated sport you know from everything that Laura you know Laura does here it's pretty much male orientated you know so she's having to roll with guys and you know spar with guys left right and center and it's you know as a guy you don't want to get your ass handed to you by a girl she moans like hell don't get me wrong do you know what I mean it's, it kills me it drives me mad but um you know, if she knows that at the end of the day, if she, if she puts it in, she'll definitely get it out. So, you know, she's prepared to push herself that extra extra mile. I mean, sometimes she's put some of the boys to shame, you know, which is which is really good. And, uh, you know, I can't really ask for much more from that, really. You have to be very close with your, with, with your students. You know, it's because uh, there's, there's a big trust. You know, there's a big trust issue. You know, for the fact that you know they, you're putting them against somebody that they don't know. So, the, or she, they, they're putting their trust into you to train them to this level to beat this person that you've chosen for them or agreed for them to fight. People just sort of have this misconception of the sport, or the, the fact that you know it's just barbaric thugs and people that just go out there and they, there's no skill or anything else involved within it. You know, you're talking about highly tuned athletes that are, you know, that are you know, training three to four times a day, you know, eating, you know, the, the, the right amount of food down to the last gram, you know, and, uh, you know, and training, training like a boxer, training like a Thai boxer, training like a judo guy, training in Olympic freestyle wrestling, training on their ground submissions, you know, then on top of that, now they've got to work on their strength and conditioning, which involves flipping tires, dragging sleds, all this kind of stuff, running up hills. You know, this is, this is the makeup of an MMA fighter. To start with, they're all about, yeah, females are fighting, they're all pretty, they've got to be pretty if they want to fight, and there was a lot of stigma, like, that they tried to get a lot of girls to be something they're not, you know, they doled them all up, they made their entrances all, like, pretty and things like that, and at the end of the day, it's not about how you look, it's how hard you bang. I'd like to see some ring guys. I'd like some guys in little hot pants walking around with the cards. I think that should happen, but... I don't think it's going to, because how many guys are going to come and watch half-naked men walk around the cage? In my last fight, I was watching the commentary back, and um, they did start off with, oh, let the cat fight begin, and we're making comments about how we looked and stuff, which pissed me off, and I did, like, tell the promoters, look, you've got to get people that know what they're talking about to commentate, because it was a title fight. You wouldn't expect just a couple of, basically, idiots commentating on it. Yeah, it does, because I work just as hard as everyone else. I don't want to be referred to as a cat. Like. I think if people hear female cage fighters, they tend to imagine like someone muscly, ripped, like quite naturally aggressive. People are all surprised when I do it. Like the commentator in my last fight was like, I think he was like, Rachel McQuillan sounds so prim and proper. You'd never expect she just beat someone up. So I think people are understanding that there's not stereotypes anymore. Like the same as in men's MMA, like there's a wide range of characters that do it. A lot more people are sort of becoming more aware that women do this too, and they can. And what I'd like to see, you know, in five years' time, like where we've got to. It's the first contender show that UCMA may have put on for quite a long time. It's the first time they've had it on in Brighton. And yeah, I'm the first girl one, first girl to fight on this show. And it's also the only girl show, girl fight on this show. 
Um, a friend of mine was supposed to fight but couldn't get a match and things like that, so, but it's going to be good. You're standing there, your music plays. Uh, when when you're sort of like waiting to come out, everyone's like, right, this is your time. You've got Soul, Ryan, Kenny, and everyone standing in front of you. You know, this is what you've worked for, this is your time. Your music starts playing, and then, like, that's it, you're sort of like ready to walk out, and you think, all right, this is it, it's time to shine. when you get your hand held in the air at the end. It's like the best feeling in the world, so it makes it worth it. I think you've made every single person in here proud, and I'm women especially. Yeah, I just won. <laughs> so, how'd you feel? Absolutely buzzing. Really, really good feeling. That's, that's why I tried yeah. to target. At the end of the day, it's, it's a skill. You know, you could get some pretty model Page free girl, and she wouldn't be able to do what I can do. I feel a lot more confident because of it. I, I don't know, like, I feel a lot safer because I you know how to defend myself. And it gives me something to do. Like, a lot of my friends are just, they just go out, they drink, they have hair extensions, fake nails, fake tan. I just like, when I look at them, I'm like, that's so much effort. I feel like I don't have to do that because I've got something else in my life it makes me feel like I don't need to just go through all that kind of crap. 